Keep watching Charis TV. Brother, I want to tell you something. Can I tell you? Sir. Hmm? Yes, yes, prophet. You know, you really need to pray for your wife. Where is she? She's the one who's crying. Yes. You know, I the, just the, pray. I just the, pray for her in the morning. You prayed for her in the morning. Yeah, three o'clock in the morning. She because started to of, manifest because of a sickness. Yes. You hear me? Yes. This can be death to this woman. Yeah. She, so I was seeing death when I was praying. You That's why I was praying. Yes. Can you hear what he's saying? So we need to cancel the spirit of death on your wife. Yes. Because Satan is trying to draw a line. But the grace of God is carrying you people through. Yes. So I believe today this sickness must stop. Yeah. I say this sickness must stop. Yeah. Bring that lady here. You know, the 40 day fasting, brother, that you have done, it, it didn't go to waste, <coughs> it has saved your life. <coughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Out, you demon! You spirit of sickness, come out! Come out! Come out! Come out, you demon! Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday prophetic service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my family who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon their lives. My name is Isaac Vusima Vuso and then the lady next to me is my wife Cynthia Mavuso. Today, during the service, the men of God located you and ministered upon your lives. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God said, uh, I'm seeing your wife, um, uh, what's called sick, and uh, the spirit of death, it's, it's hunting her. So I told, I told him, I was praying for her this morning. Um, as I was, uh, because I always pray in the morning, but uh, I saw a vision where me and her, between us, there was a, there was a spirit of death. So that's why I, I pray for her. And then she started manifesting. From then, in, from in the morning, around three Today until until now, she was still manifesting, manifesting until uh, the man of God. Uh, talking to us and then the, the spirit was ca was cast out yeah so what what was the problem with her was she sick if she was did she go to the doctor was she given any diagnosis she was always sick um, almost every day she's got some sickness if it's not a teeth it's something else if it's not a stomach it's the back if it's not the back is the leg if it's not the leg is the head every day so I, I i used to pray for her every day every day i pray for her but today it was something else yeah and how has the issue of a sickness been affecting you she can't go anywhere she always sitting at home she's sitting at home even to come to church is difficult <coughs> if she come to church she'll be staying there and sometimes inside the church she'll be crying that there's, there's a pain, yes. And Mama, how do you feel after prayer? I feel relieved, I feel free. I don't feel the pain anymore because since I came here in the morning, I was manifesting while I was seated down and crying. So since he prayed for me, I feel relieved. I don't feel a pain anymore. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently sitting at home? Uh, I can tell them that they should not give up on God. They have to go to God no matter what the situation that they are facing in their lives. Amen. Thank you so much, Mama. I want to pray for your son. You hear me? I want them to be given the opportunity of playing rugby. Come here. 
because Amen. now he's in Durban, yes. but things are still difficult now. Yes. To find that opportunity to be a player. Yes, that's true. Do you hear correct. Me? Yes, correct. So after I pray for you, this boy must be taken to play rugby. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Yeah? Yeah, Amen. Because look, look what is happening to your wife. Because he's there now in the school, but they are making things very difficult for him. I was complaining about it. You're complaining about it. Yeah, I was complaining. God has heard your prayer. Amen. <laughs> Okay, my name is Rufu No Mawai and my husband Godfrey Mawai. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, he prophesied to us that our son is uh, in Durban playing rugby. Yes, we confess that to be true. He is uh, in Shaq's Academy in Durban. Yes. And what did the prophet say? Uh, he confessed uh, that he prophesied that he is finding it very difficult to get a position, which is true because um, many times when we speak to him, he's been worried that the, 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 the club that he's playing for, they keep on losing the games. And he was very much demoralized. De de um, demotivated like he's no longer encouraged so he was even thinking of leaving the club and then but we encourage him that god you always have something to do when it looks impossible he must just hold on on that uh, club and we pray because he was like the the team members are not committed so we keep it, uh, also sending him the anointing water that he must keep praying and also sending him the messages that we get at the church like your link on the facebook to encourage him because way is there's a lot of things that are happening so the discouragement was too much mm. and how do you feel that the man of god located you and ministered upon your life regarding your son i'm i feel very very much happy because now I know for, for a reason that the, as much as God is involved, he is going to make it. Amen. And we, also, we will also encourage him that he must keep humbling himself before the Lord. Amen. And how do you feel, sir? I think the prophecy is accurate. And then it's correct what the prophet says. And then we've been trying to encourage him. He was he was too much demoralized and then he, w he was saying he's thinking of uh, leaving the team then we're saying no everything works together for god then we believe that the uh, the solution has arrived we got a solution now then it's gonna go to the right team then his his profession is gonna go well yeah and Ma, how do you how would you like to encourage somebody who's currently watching this uh, I would encourage anybody who's watching that wherever you are, God always has something to say with every situation. Amen. I see you. Satan wants to make you homeless. You. Yes. Where's your wife? Come here. Come here. Mama. Why people are staying, there's a problem. You hear me? I don't hear you. Where you are staying, there's a problem. It's true. You hear me? Yes. And I'm seeing, it's like, there's a plan of Satan to make people homeless. Yes, it's true. You, you must not worry. Amen. Because you people, you are being fought day and night. It's true. Huh? It's true. I see a house, it's like a place, so where today? Yes, huh? it's a bond house. It's a bond house. Yes. I'm seeing that it's like there's a spirit that wants you people to lose this place. It's true. I'll pray for you. God will give you money to pay this bond. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Because the demon is here. Come out. Come out, you demon. Never. Huh? Huh? Why are you helping them? What do you want? So what are, what are you doing on them? 
You want them to lose the house? Mama, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Taini and I'm with my husband, Ernest Matonsi. We are coming from Soweto. So today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, the man of God told us about the poverty that we are facing and we are, going, we are about to lose a house. And it, it is true, we are about to lose a bond house because we're waiting for another man. That money, it has been delayed. Prophet, has, Prophet uh, um, did talk about it, like, I think it's three months ago, about the man that we are waiting, still delayed. It is true, yes. And how has the issue of the house been affecting you? It has been affecting me badly because we are staying with kids, so kids will no longer have a place to stay, yes. And so how do you feel that today the man of God located you and declared restoration upon your lives? Uh, I want to say thank you, God, because... <coughs> I know about this before was a meeting uh, two weeks back by the female that don't need what my wife. And then I stood with my wife, we stand up my wife, that's why today the men of God are located. I want to say thank you God of charity. Every day is be, be with us. I know my family is, not, is, is the one who's troubling us. But I want to say thank you God, everything we put the God will help us. Thank you. And Mama, how would you encourage somebody who's going through what you went through? I will encourage every woman to stand with the husband and pray and go to church and believe in what the prophet and men of God, whatever men of God to believe in what they are saying because it's they're not the one that are saying, it's God who's telling them what to say. Mama, you've got something in your stomach. Huh? Yes. You feel something moving here. Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. And this thing, it has been troubling you for so many years. Yes. It has even affected your feet. Yes, my feet are always painful. Yes, I want God to heal you. Amen. Come. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out. With me here today is my mother who was located during the service by the man of God who ministered upon her life. Mama, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Ngobile Mieza. I come from Tembisa and Winnie Mandela section. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. The man of God located me and confirmed that I have a, a running thing in my stomach and it's causing pain, painful feats. So it is true. This thing is a... I don't even remember which year, but I think I was still at school when it started. I used to tell my mom and my mom would, would tell me that it's because I will have many kids, which is not true. I only have one child. <laughs> How long has it been happening and how has it affected you? I, I think it has been affected my life for, I can't even recall, I was very bright. But it be, when these things started, I started to be dumb. Even my life goes from worse. Nothing goes right. I think it has affected me the most. How would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? I can encourage the person that uh, Charis Missionary Trade Church is a, a true Christian church. I've been here seeing people getting delivered, getting whatever they, they need. This is the place to come. There is Jesus in this place. Amen.